Chinatown, which is a new establishment that they just opened up in Accra not too long ago. I want to say maybe a month ago now that they opened this place. So we are about to go inside to see what they have to offer. And from the looks of things, it is a very crowded parking lot. We have a uh, our two uh, troublesome kids here. <laughs> Hello, YouTube. And you can see the rude. one. You can see the one. She's she started taking out her hair. She's very ratchet. So um, yeah, from the looks of things, it is a very crowded parking lot. So I'm pretty sure they have so much to offer. So let's go on inside and see what they got going on. So much going on. Some glasses. Every says she wants some glasses. Okay, when we come back, okay. All right, so where do we start first? They got, is that barbecue sauce? Oh my gosh, I have never seen barbecue sauce since I have been in Ghana. I cannot believe they got barbecue sauce. my gosh i have just found the perfect decor for our house look how amazing this is Loving these cups. Drop a comment. Let me know what y'all think about these. This store literally has any and everything that you could possibly think of. If y'all didn't see my video on China Mall, go check that out too. Ah, is it a frisbee, Dave? Is it me, or does all these China stores give you Walmart vibes? I have never seen an aisle full of stuffed animals. This was pleasantly different. I can always appreciate the concept of a waterfall decor. These waterfalls add a unique touch to this concept. Kitchen items are my favorite aisle because I absolutely love to cook, but I don't really care for this non-stick cookware. I would rather cast iron if I can find it. Now I have been thinking of the perfect material to use for my new YouTube studio and it looks like I have found a section. They also have outside flower pots if you want to decorate your yard. They have a second floor. No worries if you're immobile because they also have a rolling escalator. If y'all watched a previous video at China Mall, y'all heard of how hot I said it was in that place. Here on the second level, it was a bit hot, but not as hot as there. They did have ACs, but for some reason, they just was not working too well. This second level offered an array of decorative items for your household, dining room furniture, and clothing. <laughs> What I loved most about Chinatown is the fact that they have great products for a very discounted price. These creative wooden tables can be a perfect addition to your home in either the living room, the kitchen, or you can even use it in the dining area. Now they outdid it with this clothing section. I had to look around like, where am I at? Like, is this JCPenney's? Is this Macy's? Like the full setup was so typical mall setting. 
I don't know how good the quality of the clothes are, but it was for sure reasonably priced. If y'all don't stop playing with Chinatown, they even have panties and bras for sale. Oh, and did I forget to mention that they have Fikey's galore? Y'all better come get y'all some. They also have your traveling needs covered. And I should mention again that their prices are extremely reasonably priced. In need of towels or washcloths? Oh, they have a whole aisle dedicated to just that. Sometimes I feel like the products that they sell aren't exactly that durable, but I mean, I guess you can't complain for the prices that they are selling these items for. And the saying goes, you get what you paid for. And as I mentioned previously, no worries if you have trouble walking because they do have this rolling escalator. Before exiting Chinatown, we noticed that they had a whole TV section, so we decided to come on over and see what their TV displays had to offer. And again, as you can see, the prices are really good, but how durable it is, I just don't know. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell.